Life is full of choices, and when you pick a technology, there are implications. In this lesson, we'll take a look at one way to analyze varying approaches to high-volume data storage. It's useful to have a conceptual framework to help understand complex technology. The CAP theorem analyzes limitations that are structurally inherent to distributed systems. It was first posited by Eric Brewer and then later proved mathematically by Nancy Lynch and Seth Gilbert. In the context of database technology, the CAP theorem looks at three factors. First, consistency. When a client connects to a particular node, in this case a database node, can that node see all the available data in the same state? Second, availability. Can a client read or write from any node it chooses at any time? And third, partition tolerance. If there is more than one node involved, meaning we're talking about clustered software, will nodes function normally if the network drops between some of them, leaving them out of contact? You see, it's an iron triangle. You get to pick any two you'd like. So let's take a look at this by the twos. If you choose a CP software design, meaning you're emphasizing consistency and partition tolerance, then you can immediately get consistent data from any node in the cluster that's able to respond, even if there are network problems between it and other nodes. Couchbase and MongoDB fall into this aspect. However, if you choose an AP software design, emphasizing availability and partition tolerance, then any node you can contact will always service a request, even across multiple data centers, but you may need to wait for the network gap to be repaired before you can be sure the data you're receiving is consistent across all nodes. Apache HBase, Datastax, and Cassandra all fall into this aspect, as does Couchbase if you're looking to serve the same data from multiple data centers using cross-data center replication. If you choose a CA software design, meaning you're emphasizing consistency and availability, that means your software is scaling up on one big box, not out across a cluster. You will always get consistent data if you can talk to the database, as long as you've got a big enough box. The traditional relational systems all fall into this aspect. Well, this all means there are trade-offs, and again, life's full of choices. So should you de-emphasize availability and go with a CP system? Well, there's a pretty low risk of outage in distributed systems. Cloud companies would be out of business if this weren't true. So what is the impact? Well, if there's an outage, the user needs to retry their request, it may be momentary, or worst case, come back later. This is where you're at with Couchbase and Mongo. So what happens if you de-emphasize consistency instead, in favor of availability. Well, there is a high risk of inconsistency in big data systems, ingesting vast amounts of data through distributed nodes. So if the architecture doesn't inherently guarantee consistency, you're either going to need to accept stale data as an aspect of your system, or slow your requests down to wait for multi-node quorum. This is what you get with HBase, Datastax, and Cassandra, or it's also the scenario if you try to serve the same data from multiple data setters running Couchbase, which may actually suit your need. Last, what happens if you de-emphasize partition tolerance? Now, with this approach, you're not talking about elastic scalable software, but one big box. There are real risks of scaling limitations with non-distributed systems. Potentially, total system failure at cloud scale. All the old relational systems fall into this category. So what have we learned here? Well, database management systems require a distributed architecture to reach cloud scale. You can analyze distributed systems by factors of consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. Consistency, well, do all the nodes see the same data at all times? Availability, are all nodes read-write accessible at all times? And partition tolerance. Do the nodes still function normally if the network drops between some nodes? You get a pick any two. Couchbase emphasizes consistency and partition tolerance. Or, if you use cross-data center replication, then it falls into the AP category, 
availability, and partition tolerance. Both architectures are available to you with Couchbase. Relational systems, though, can fail at cloud scale due to fundamental limitations of their old design. Couchbase, we've got you covered, and we've got a lot more to come. Stick around.